The big story is Tua Tagovailoa was benched. What? What? Um, according to Omar <laughs> Kelly, Tua wasn't injured. We just felt like it was the best move at the at that point in the game. We just felt like Fitzpatrick gave us the best chance in the two minute drill. Dolphins coach Brian Flores on why Tua was benched. That just doesn't make sense, right, Mike? They are playing with fire. Brian Flores is playing with fire here, playing with a possibility that uh, that this could contribute to factionalizing a locker room. This could contribute to uh, a backup quarterback who may be a little bit of a self-promoter. I won't name names, but Ryan Fitzpatrick uh, <laughs> using this as a, an opportunity uh, uh, to not necessarily be Mr. Leader. We heard a couple weeks ago when he was benched that he had feelings about that. We might hear about those feelings again in the days to come. And I'm going to tell you guys a story right now about a young coach in the 1990s named Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick was a defensive genius and guru, but he couldn't he couldn't communicate with his quarterbacks. And he didn't really think it was necessary to communicate with his quarterbacks. And he wound up in a rift with Bernie Kosar, uh, and, and it, that kind of submarined what he was trying to do with the Cleveland Browns, who were good for a while, and then they kind of became mm -hmm. the Browns after a while. So <laughs> lessons learned for Belichick eventually was to kind of manage these situations better and i think he had to manage bledsoe to brady and then now he's got to manage it again but he had a nice 20-year run in between the inability of defensive coaches who come across as these sort of gruff guys and they think like well i'll just replace the linebacker with the other linebacker no one says a word i'll do that with the quarterbacks i'll do it with the quarterbacks it, they don't necessarily realize they, they're in denial that that's a problem that that can cause real problems down the road i worry flores has not made a wrong move really, in the last year and a half since they yeah. started winning games last year. This has the potential to be a catastrophically wrong move if this winds up casting a shadow over the Dolphins' se season and on, uh, to a Tonga Viola's future. Yeah, this is a really easy way to kind of shoot down the confidence that, that Tua had really been building up the last couple yeah. weeks. You know, before today, he entered, he had no interceptions, uh, five touchdowns. He'd been winning all his starts. He looked good for all intents and purposes. This is a, this is a team that the, the Broncos are not a good football team. But Vic Fangio is the head coach on the other yeah. side of the field, and Vic Fangio is one of the best defensive minds in all of football. So it's not really a surprise to see Fangio kind of one-up a rookie, and I don't think this was the time to come out and say something like that. You had the out. He got rolled up on. All you had to do was say, we're playing the long game. We don't want to get him hurt. Let's just roll with Ryan for right now. We'll protect him to a, for not, not just today, but for next week and all the rest of the weeks of the season. This was literally the first sign of adversity. This yeah. was the first sign of adversity, and you're right. You watch Broncos games. You watch Broncos games earlier in the year when they when they they beat the Patriots and they and they almost beat the uh, Titans early on. They get into these sloppy, mucky games. They get you down into it. The defense is good, even without Von Miller. There's a lot of good guys on defense. You mentioned Pat Fangio. He really coaches them up well. So this happens. Yeah, you're exactly right. Just take the loss. You say if it was an injury, whatever. You know, because he was he did get rolled up on. Take the loss. Lessons learned. Walk away. Do not turn this into something that has the potential to linger. And I'm shocked that he's gone that route. And, and, and it comes in a week where, you know, we talk about the Belichick buddies. We're hearing about Joe Judge getting into it with his offensive line coach. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Lions just got shut out. The Texans are a complete tire fire. It's like, Flores, you're the one guy who has this stuff figured out to a degree. Don't yeah. turn around and turn into one of these guys on us suddenly, please. We need one good Bill Belichick disciple slash Bill Belichick in the <laughs> NFL right now, and, and, and you're it at the moment.